Hi, I'm Mike Lewis and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can edit yourself or anyone into an avatar character. So, let's start it. Okay, the first thing is to find correct photo which you want to Photoshop. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is Ctrl J to duplicate the layer and then I go to select, select a mask. And I just mask Mask the person. Okay, something like this. And then I create a background layer. I fill it with a black color. Okay. And I can work with this. Don't worry about the ears, we're gonna delay them later and create a new one. So I'm gonna apply the layer mask for now to get rid of this kind of stroke which is happening around our selection. I'm gonna contract the selection, so I press Ctrl and I press on my layer and then I go to select, modify and contract. And I contract by two pixels and I press again a mask to create a new mask. And you can see I delayed some of the stroke that was happening around our selection. And I again uh, apply layer mask and I can move on. So the first thing, change the shape of the nose. So first I'm gonna make a copy if something uh, go wrong. Then on the copy I'm gonna go to filter and liquify. And I just select the first option from here. And I just click on the image and change the shape of the nose a bit. Okay, let's go with something like this. And I press OK. And we can see what's the difference. If I turn off it and turn on the other layer. And now let's go also to liquify and make the eyes bigger. I'm gonna use the and the bloat tool and change the size of the brush okay this looks good and now i'm gonna change the color of the skin then use hue saturation and i just clip the layer to the selection and let's change the hue value. Something like this. We can also delete the ears from our image, like I've told you before. So I'm just creating a mask and just deleting the ears. Before we move further, let's create the correct ears, uh, so we can turn off the blue layer for now and find an ear. So I have this photo of an ear, which I found on the unsplash.com site, and I'm just gonna make selection to get rid of the rest of the image. So I'm just using a pen tool to do this. Okay, then I press the right mouse button and click make selection. And then I uh, press create a mask. Let's move this layer to the top. Let's uh, rasterize the layer and then apply layer mask. And then I'm using spot healing brush to delay the parts that I don't want to see on my ear. Something like this. Let's right now change the shape of the ear and also place it correctly on our head. Okay, something like this. And we also need to change the shape. So we again go to filter, liquify, and we select the first option there. And I change the size of the brush and I play with the ear.
Okay, let's try something like this. I'm also changing a bit colors to match the uh, to match the head. Let's put our head and ear in one group. So Ctrl G on these uh, layers, and then we can blend the ear a bit more. So create the mask, uh, then select the brush, click the right mouse button, and change the hardness to something around 40%, and blend the edges a bit. Okay, this should work uh, for now. So let's just duplicate the ear and let's put it on the uh, right side. So let's go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And we can see that the right side of our character is a bit darker. So let's also make the ear a bit darker. So let's go to the image adjustments and brightness to match the tone of the skin. So let's also correct the mask a bit. And now we can move back to our hue saturation layer and we create a clipping mask to the group. So in this way, we've got the ears and also the whole character in one color. And now uh, let's mask the eyes part here. We don't want to have the blue eyes. So I paint with black color on the mask. Okay. Uh, we also need to make the eyes bigger. So let's go to our layer and select the eye. Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, Ctrl-T, and let's just make, make it bigger, something like this. And create a mask, and mask some parts. Okay, let's also do the same with the second eye. Okay, let's go with something like this. And now let's add an avatar pattern to the skin. We can do this by hand or we can just type in Google avatar pattern. So you can see I'm gonna just make it bigger. And now I'm gonna use this as a layer mask. So I'm gonna fill the rest of the empty space with a white color. And now I'm gonna select the whole mask and press Ctrl C. And then I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer, brightness contrast, create a clipping mask to our group, and then in the mask I'm gonna place the mask that I uh, recently I copied. And then I go and change the brightness a bit and also the contrast. Yeah, not too strong, something like this. And now let's uh, correct this mask a bit, let's delete it from the ears. I'm just using a simple brush to do this. Also on the hair, you can see in the right ear is blending not so well. I'm just gonna go and create an adjustment layer to this. Again, I'm gonna fix the mask here. And now we're gonna add some more details. I'm creating a new Q saturation layer. I'm creating again a clipping mask. I'm gonna add some pink details. Let's fill this layer mask with black color so we don't see anything. And then I uh, select the brush and with a brush I'm painting on the parts that I want to make pink. On the mouth a bit. Let's decrease the saturation a bit more. Also on the nose. And let's decrease also the flow and paint on the ears. We can add some more color details. So create a new hue saturation layer. 
something like this, fill the mask layer with black color, and then select a brush, decrease the flow to something around 16, 16%, and we can paint in random places. Okay, and now we're gonna add some more details. So I create a new layer. I change the flow to 100% and make the brush really, really small to paint some dots here and there with a white color. And as I go, I also change the shape of it. So some dots are bigger, some dots are smaller. And then we change the blending mode to overlay. We also blurry a bit this layer. So let's go to blur, Gaussian blur. And with really small value, something around 0.5 pixels, we blurry this layer. And we duplicate this layer and blurry the new one a bit more. So, to imitate the glowing effect. Uh, select the two layers, press Ctrl G to group them and decrease the opacity a bit. The next thing is go to the eyes and make them a bit uh, brighter. I'm gonna apply the layer mask, which we created before. Duplicate one layer, and blurry a bit, and change the blending mode to linear doge and change the opacity to about something around 50% and make the same with a second layer. So now let's play with some uh, lights and shadows. So let's create a new layer and then go to edit, fill and content select the 50% gray and press OK. And change the blending mode of it to overlay and create the clipping mask. And now select a burn tool and let's paint some shadows here and there. I want to increase the appearance of our nose, so I'm drawing some shadows around the nose. So let's create a new adjustment layer. This time this is gonna be exposure. Increase the exposure. Then create a black color on our mask layer. Then select the brush. Change the flow to something around 10%. And with white color, let's paint some highlights and I just paint some highlights here and there okay let's add some background photo I'm gonna use this one which is also from unsplash.com and I'm gonna put this layer on the bottom I'm gonna desaturate it change the brightness contrast, blurry it to make sure that our main character is on the first plane. And I also want to add a hue saturation layer. So I'm creating a new adjustment layer to have a bit more control later if I'm gonna decide that I want to change the color of the background. Create a clipping mask, uh, press colorize. And I'm colorized with a blue color. Okay, we can also fix uh, one place, which is not working for me. And this is this small hair here, which is blue. So let's create a new hue saturation layer, change the saturation and lightness uh, to something like this. Fill a layer mask with black color, and then with white brush, we can fix those places. And now let's create a new layer. Let's apply the whole image. Image, apply image. 
And now let's go to filter and camera row filter. And let's play with some values. I'm gonna increase the contrast, increase the highlights a bit, shadows, whites. I'm gonna decrease the blacks. Increase the texture and clarity, add some sharpening. And I'm gonna play with color. Just a bit. And press OK. And now let's duplicate layer again. And let's go to filter, lens correction. And let's add some chromatic aberration. And also some vignette. Okay. And for the last part, I want to blurry some places. So I'm go I go to filter. Blur gallery and then go to build blur. And I want to make sure that the focus point is on our head. Make sure that these two points are on the zero uh, pixels value. That's it for today's video, I hope you liked it, I hope you learned something from it, please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. To the next time, bye!